Hi, for this video, I just want to do a basic how to find the perimeter and area of a triangle. So the perimeter is the sum of all the sides of a triangle, and the area is going to be found by doing one half the base times the height of the triangle. The height is always the perpendicular distance from one of the angles to the opposite side. Okay, you could use any of them. If it's given to you, make sure that you use that as your height. Um, if it's a right triangle, then it's just the one of the legs would be your base and the other leg would be your height. You would just ignore the hypotenuse for the area formula. Okay, for all of the examples that I have, all of the information necessary is given. I just wanted to do a basic one. Sometimes as you get into geometry further, you will have to find missing information. So sometimes, like if you're studying trig, you may have to use uh, law of signs or um, the right triangle trig in order to find the height. Uh, but for all of these, I've given you all the information that you need in order to find both the perimeter and the area. So the first one that we have to find the perimeter, all I would do is go around the outside. So remember, perimeter is always the outside and just add up all of the sides. So the sum just means to add. So I would do 5 plus 8.5 plus 10.5. And when I add this together, 10.5 plus the 0.5 would put me at 11 plus 8 would put me at 19 plus 5 would put me at 24. The units for the perimeter are always going to be the same as what is in your figure. So sometimes they may trick you and measure one side in as five inches, and then they might put something like this side is um, in feet. Then you would have to convert. I didn't do anything tricky like that, but do make sure that you watch out for that because sometimes they will change uh, the units. So make sure that all the units are the same. In order to find the area, we're just going to do one half the base. So the base is what's perpendicular to the height. So I would do one half times 10.5 times 4. And so really this is just 2 times 10.5, which would be 21. And so the answer to this would be 21 inches squared. Okay. All right. So moving into the next one that we have. On this one, we do have a right triangle that is given to us. So to find the perimeter, we would still do the same thing. We would just take the 13 plus the 85 plus the 84. Okay, and so when you add this up, you do end up with 182 feet. Okay, so this one does end up being 182 feet after you find the sum of these values. Okay, and then to find the area, you do want to find the two legs. So for my area, I'm going to use the two legs as my base and my height because they are perpendicular. So the height is always perpendicular to the base. So the 85 will not be used in calculating the area. So I would just do one half, the base is 84 times the height, which is 13. And if you find the product of these numbers, you do end up with 546 square feet. Okay, so it's very easy to find the area and the perimeter when all the information is given. Sometimes you will have missing information, like for example, on this one, if they hadn't given me the hypotenuse, I could have used the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side and then add all it up add all of the sides up. So sometimes you might have to use Pythagorean theorem to help you find the perimeter or the area. Um, it's one of those things that if they give you all the information, it's very easy. But if you're missing some of the information, then it can be a little more challenging. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.